morning everyone three o'clock saturday morning and it's freezing uh today i'm over in uh wasdale or wasdale car park you just make out the lights behind me for the pub uh, no lights ahead of me so today i'm going up uh great gable to bag myself another sunrise I mean the weather today looks looks mint there's not a cloud in the sky at the moment full of stars so I better get me uh, my head torch up because at the moment I can't see a bloody thing in front of me Do I need to say it? I'm knackered. So it's about two miles from the uh, from the car park to the summit of um, Great Gable. I forgot where I was then. Now I'm about a mile and a half in now. I'm just taking a, a set on a rock, or a seat on a rock, should I say. Which reminded me a bit of uh, Kirk Fell that I did the other week. It's just pretty much vertical cars are killing me uh, but my bag's not as heavy today it's only got my camera gear in so I mean at this rate uh, it's going to get to me in the top probably about half an hour before sunrise sunrise is due um, just after 6 o'clock so it'll give me plenty of time to set up and uh, even have a bit more breakfast maybe it's going to take 5 more minutes and I'll get going again Just make out the faint lights of the pub in the background by the car park. I set off from home last night, probably just after seven o'clock. After me uh, sat and I've decided to take me on a diversion. Ended up getting here at just after 10. I grab myself something to eat and put my sleep mat in my boot and uh, yeah, had a decent night's sleep to be honest. Woke up about half two, got all my bits together, bit of breakfast and then headed out. I'm just hoping that I'm the only one up here and the only one daft enough to get up at this time. I've seen some head torches in the background, but I think they're, uh, they must be doing old Scalfell Pike. Fingers crossed anyway. Right, back at it. Bit of load of shale. Whether or not I've gone the right way, God knows. I'm just following my watch. But Kurt Fell was bad enough in the daytime going up that. I mean, going up Great Gable in the dark. <sighs> Nightmare. And to top it off, I've got a cocky sheep up here that keeps running away from me. Running. <sighs> I'm struggling to bleeding walk. This GPS has got me in a right load of trouble. I'm just almost stuck on the side of a cliff now. Let me just show you down there. That was scary. I can only do, I can only go up, I can't go anywhere else. I'm just hoping when I get to the top of here it'll uh, be a bit more clear where I need to go. Right, it's just before, it's just after six o'clock, just made it. 
It's probably one of the most scariest things I've ever had to do. My mappings on my GPS, on my watches, it's too far out. So I didn't follow the correct path. End up going up climber's path. Yeah, no shit. Right, there's not a speck of wind up here. Yeah, I'll get some decent drone footage. Just noticed down there there's someone while camping, but hopefully they stay down there. And I've got this place to myself. Yeah, some awesome colours already. wind it's perfectly still uninterrupted views it's well worth the effort getting up here Of this now. Beautiful. Right, so it's eight o'clock. I've been up here for a couple of hours now. I've had the summit to myself, which has been brilliant. As you can see, crystal clear. There's not a scrap of wind either. But plenty of drone footage. Hopefully it's all turned out okay. I'm going to start making my way down now. I've just had my butty. And hopefully I find the path. Well, not the one that I came up anyway, because that was a nightmare.
sometimes you just got to get on your ass. Or fall on your ass. Either way, same result. This ain't fun anymore. I'm sick of falling on my ass. Shale all the way down. So I found myself a big ass rock. I can see the car from here. I can also see the pub from here. <sighs> Only another 200 metres to go. There's got to be easier obvious than this. When's this going to end? You see where I've come from just behind my head there. It only looked like 200 metres. But I can see people down there which you're not going to be able to see. But they look like ants. I've been in this uh, OS Maps app. Stick with all trails. <laughs> Number seven, that's you, Mum. There we go. Hello. 